It's happening, everybody. Um, that's happening right now for me. Um, my bike is overheating really quickly. Weird rattling noise and uh, rattling noise coming specifically from the top part of the engine, it sounds like. As well as a little bit of fuel leak um, after the bike is overheated. So when it gets up to that fifth bar, not flashing yet, but when it gets up to that fifth bar, a um, little bit of leakage on the road. And after I park my bike, the fuel will continue to leak for uh, 10 to 15 hours um, afterwards. However, if it sits for 24 hours and you let it just ride, it doesn't leak there. Um, so it's an active leak due to some sort of pressurization in the system. What I'm narrowing it down to as I go through all this is that my intake valves need adjustment. Um, they're too loose currently. Um, but you can see there is leakage. There's dr droplets here of where dirt is stick stuck um, to the droplets and it's coming down. And so after running the bike for a bit and letting it heat up, I pretty sure that the adapter to the fuel filter so the, the 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 pump for the fuel injector sits inside the engine pumps it on out through the fuel filter goes down and into my um fuel injector right here you can see the little electricity attached um i am almost 100 percent certain now that it's leaking from this fuel filter and on top of that it is leaking from the output side where it goes into the mo motor so not like super mechanically inclined. No one's ever taught me too much. A little bit about car rebuilds from my father in the past and um, you know oxygen gas ratios, but mostly been self-taught. Um, what I believe is happening here is my intake valves are loose. Um, this probably happened because, well, last time I had them adjusted was at about 500 miles and I'm getting close to 5,000, so it loosened up. Um, when the bike heats up, those valves expand, contract, expand, contract, and from that expanding and contracting, as well as from the piston going up and knocking on that valve, I believe that they are now sitting a little bit loose. And so when the piston comes up and then ignites the fuel and the downstroke begins, that top valve that's capping it off is not seated properly, so there's a little bit of back pressure um, from that ignition of the fuel and the oxygen sending pressure backwards um, into the headers um, or out, out of the headers. And the only place that that can really escape um, are one of two places. One place that pressure can push fuel backwards and make it leak right here. Two, that pressure can go backwards and come out of my air box, which is sitting right down in here. Now, to test that theory of the valves being loose, I went ahead and took off my air filter, located on this side right over here with these screws, pulled it out, and I listened to the engine through the air box. On every single uh, downstroke of the, of the piston, there was a tss, tss, tss sound, a TSS sound, which to me sounds like back pressure. Uh, it sounds like the valve isn't sitting. Uh, because the valve's not sitting, it ignites. Some of that pressure is pushing the piston down, but some of the pressure is coming back and outwards out of my air box and out of my fuel. Now, most of the time that pressure is released and it's coming through my air box and backflowing, which um, is probably the case. However, when the engine really starts to overheat and I'm revving it at super high RPM, there's that leftover pressure in there. What I'm thinking is happening is then that leftover pressure is then, instead of going out my air box, is coming up backwards through my uh, fuel injector right here. And because of that, it is breaking the seal on where the fuel filter hits um, this main intake line and it's leaking right here. I'm almost 100% certain that this is what this is. Um, I mean, the fact that the fuel is coming out right there, I hear a sound. The bike has a little bit less power. It's overheating quicker. Um, and I'm hearing a slight rattle sound at low RPM coming clearly. The only place it's coming from is from the header of the engine itself. I'm pretty sure my valves need to get adjusted. Now, on top of my valves getting adjusted, um, I am also more than likely going to replace the fuel filter. Might as fucking well. 
Um, the little attachment point right here, because I bet that that's corroded and eaten away um, due to all that back pressure, hence why it's coming out. Might also replace this side over here. Also, because of all this and the engine overheating, you can see right here, which is just a simple little air filter uh, that takes air from the bottom, uh, I forget what it's called, the crankcase, and it feeds the air from the crankcase over around this side, um, over to this side of the crankcase. And so I am pretty gosh darn certain that that filter um, just overheated and it cracked, or the, the, the filter hold cracked and overheated right here. Given that it's been rattling around, I might as well replace that filter too, just only fucking makes sense. Um, now the things that I did to ensure that it's the valves and not a radiator issue. First of all, as always, check your radiator levels um, located over here on the RX-4. It's been sitting pretty. Um, I mean, clearly as it overheats, that pressure builds up and it's gonna kick out some radiator fluid, which we're able to see right there from the drip hose, radiator fluid coming out. Um, the fan turns on appropriately, so that's just fine. My sensor is fine. Um, the radiator sensor is fine, whatever the fuck you want to call it, the coolant sensor. Um, thermostat, that's the word for it. The thermostat's sitting just fine, um, and it's telling it what to do. Um, odd thing that I found, though, was that the RX-4 tends to not kick on the radiator fan until you're in gear. So when you're at a stop, it's typically not running, unless you just had it in gear. If you keep it in gear and just turn on the bike and rev it and heat it up that way, radiator fan doesn't turn on until you pull in that clutch and shift it into first, then it kicks on. Kind of a weird electronic issue. I would think that they would also run when you're at a stop. Wouldn't be dependent of that. But those levels are good. The fluid's draining through properly. The radiator itself is getting hot. And so you know that there's movement from the engine into the radiator and circling back down in order for it to get hot and the thermostat fan to kick on. Um, that all seems just fine. So really, it's just my valves. And because my valves have loosened up, you can see this now caused me to think that there's a fuel line issue. This caused me to think that there's a uh, radiator issue. It was an overheating issue. Uh, my bike was getting a little bit less power than it normally does. All just caused from my intake valves being a little bit loose. Um, taking me some investigative work in order to figure all this out, but uh, I gotta say that I only figured all this out due to the online videos. Um, that CSC, California Scooter Company, posts about their motorcycles and the, the tutorials that they have on their website um, regarding these things. So, I will say that if you are just a little bit mechanically experienced and you want a good bike to start working on and learning how to do, I think any of the bikes in CSC's line are a great starter um, because they give you a lot to work with. Um, <laughs> I was this close to reaching out to Joey uh, it was a mechanic at CSC and decided not to. I wanted to fiddle it with myself and see if I could figure it out. Um, hopefully, I can go ahead and buy uh, the valve adjustment tool from CSC. If not, just buy one myself. Do the valves myself. be the first time I've ever done it, um, but I'm feeling fairly confident. Also, I have a friend in town who's a great mechanic. He'll help me out with it. He's done his, the valves on his bike loads of times. Um, and then hopefully after I seat the valves, change out the fuel filter, Replace the fuel fil filter adapters for the hose lines, and then also replace the uh, the little air filter that's right here for the cam, um, and the little amount that it attaches to that is broken off. Um, I'm pretty sure the bike is going to be running great after that. But a couple weeks of riding and uh, a couple other things, but for me to figure that out. Anywho, that is my latest on the CSC RX4. Um, this has been a long rant, but hopefully it's helpful to somebody out there. Anywho, I'll catch y'all later.